several months back, Adam called me midweek and, and he said he'd like to come by and talk to me on a Saturday. I had a pretty good idea what he was talking about. I'm talking about. <laughs> anyway, he came Saturday and he sat down with my wife and I and he said that he asked his father a question. How do you know? How do you know she's the one? And Jeff told him that it's, uh, you find yourself not wanting to spend one day without her. So Adam told us that he did not want to spend one day without Emily. He loved her very much and wanted to marry her. Of course, we gave him our blessing. But before he left though, he asked if it'd be okay if he could call Nancy and Katie and let them know that his intentions and ask if they had any questions or concerns. Actually, I was blown away, Adam. I've never heard anything like that before. To have the heart to want to include family in a special time in your lives. So I want to take time to tell Tracy and Jeff, I want to commend you on raising an outstanding young man. <laughs> Last one. Emily, your mother and I are so proud and so blessed to be able to watch you grow into the woman that you have to become. This is one of my brightest moments of my life to be able to hold you down. I love you. Adam, I got a lovely wife. I got three beautiful daughters. I, my dog is even a female. <laughs> and I have been living in the female world for a long, long time, brother. <laughs> and I know I've told you this before, but I've been waiting for you for a long time. <laughs> to help this man out. to know a love like this because before you I did not understand what a love like this would be. <laughs> it is fun, exciting, adventurous, happy, and it is my greatest joy and honor to be marrying you today. This love makes my world shine brighter and I still can't believe I found my best friend and soulmate in one. You're my favorite hug. Favorite voice and just favorite everything. Through the messy days and tough things life throws at us, my commitment to choosing you will remain. So with these words, I vow to laugh with you always, be best friends forever, and to love you till the wheels fall off. You and me. Oh, that was so sweet. I don't know. I'm gonna leave this. All right, you ready? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> Emily, I can't believe we finally made it here today. I'm so excited to make this commitment to share the rest of our lives together. Over the last two years, you've been the best partner and best friend I could have ever asked for. Emily, you are beautiful, you are intelligent, and the most caring person that I've ever met. There will be ups and downs, joyous moments, challenges all ahead, but I wouldn't want to experience it and work through these moments with anyone else but you. I will fight for you, I'll protect you, and never let you question my love for you. It has been and will continue to be my mission to make you know how loved you are every single day. I love the passion and enthusiasm with which you approach each day. You truly are the light of my life. I love how we share the same sense of humor, have our own jokes, and how you can always make me laugh and smile. I love how you leave your bedside light on when, when you go to sleep, leaving a light for me to follow back to you. I love getting lost in your eyes, <laughs> or distracted by your sheer beauty in the most random moments of the day. I'm madly in love with the person you are today. I cannot wait to see who we become together. The idea of growing old can be very scary, but the idea of growing old with you, my best friend, my lover, <laughs> excites me to my core. 
I love you, Em, with every ounce of my being, forever and always. You have all of me. It's you and me, Lover. You may kiss the bride. Let's go. <laughs> there we go. Might have a little lipstick. Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Jeffrey Adam Johnson. There we Amen. go. Love you. Love you, man. <laughs> All right, let's go. There we go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Nancy. I'm one of the maid of honors and also one of Emily's younger sisters. So let me tell y'all about the first time I met Adam. <laughs> my boyfriend and I were going to Shelby to stay with my parents for the weekend. On the drive there, my mom called me and said Emily was coming to dinner and bringing someone named Adam. We were standing in the kitchen waiting for them to arrive and Emily came around the corner with Adam following. And for those who know Emily really well, when she gets really excited, she does a little jumping skip kick thing that she gets from my mom. And her voice gets a little higher pitched. And I have seen Emily smile a million times before, but this smile was different. It was genuine happiness and it literally lit up the room. As the night went on, watching them interact and laugh and tell stories, I knew before the dinner was over that Emily had found her person. And I'm so glad I was right. I'm Katie. I'm Emily's little, little sister. About a year and a half ago, Emily and I met up at, to eat at Noodles and Company. We ended up on the topic of Adam. As little sisters do, I badgered her with a bunch of questions, trying to figure out everything. A lot of them I don't remember, but I do remember asking, was Adam the one? Before Emily even answered, I knew the answer. Her face radiated with a different type of joy and she said yes, for sure, with a huge grin. I then left Noodles and Company with a feeling of peace. Watching my sister's face radiate happiness when talking about Adam was like witnessing pure joy in its most beautiful form. Adam, I hope you have as much fun growing old with her as I did growing up with her. Adam Johnson! Now the best for us, Emily. Emily, I truly never thought I'd ever find someone else in this world who could ever match me in Adam's ridiculous humor. Until the day I met you. You're one of the funniest, kind-hearted, and most God-sent women I've ever met, and the Lord truly knew what he was doing when he put you on this earth. Your gracefulness truly shows through your family and everyone around you that has made you the beautiful soul that you are today. Your humor and ability to keep Adam in his place is exactly how I know you're the perfect match. I remember it very vividly the day Adam had told me Emily was the one. Adam and I were sitting down in Florida at a local bar down the road that I go to, and I remember I was sitting there with him, and he wasted no time to show me the ring and how excited he was to tell me he had found the one. I didn't even question him, because I knew it was from the bottom of his heart that he truly deep down loved you, because I've never seen Adam so excited and happy. You truly are a blessing for years to come for Adam, and I truly couldn't imagine my best friend ever marrying someone else besides you.